Good day, my gorgeous people, and I hope you're doing well. If you're new here, hello, my name is Paulina. Please subscribe and activate the notification bell. And also please follow me on Instagram where we have a lot of fun as well. Okay, guys, so uh, I'll be honest, I've been a little bit under the weather for the last two days and I really couldn't just get myself to do anything. Um, so I was just lying in bed and I've been watching some YouTube first time in a while and I came across uh, one of my favorite uh, YouTube perfume reviewers Demi Rowling's video where she talks about her um, six fragrances uh, that she cannot stop wearing and it really inspired me to do a similar video here on my channel so thank you so much uh, to Demi Rowling. Of course, I will link her channel down below. She's amazing, especially when it comes to niche fragrances. So, uh, guys, uh, basically what I'm going to show you today are the fragrances that I've been wearing non-stop and I cannot stop wearing. Literally, every single scent of these that I have here, I, I really, really crave and I just cannot stop um, going around them and you know um, wearing one or the other so let me start with the uh, most recent purchase and actually uh, I was inspired for this purchase by Anna Absolute my gorgeous friend here on YouTube and she really really raved about that fragrance uh, since I have a lot of oh Siri shut up Is that okay? Um, so since I have a lot of like summer coconut tea perfumes, I was quite hesitant to get it, but I found it in a great price. So I was like, okay, let me just try. And I'm really, really happy with it. Like literally, I cannot stop wearing this perfume. And this is Dolce Cabana Dolce Garden. And to me, the name is so misleading. Uh, and the packaging is also super misleading because this is a very strong like milky coconut scent uh, with some frangipani very 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 coconutty in a milky way so it's like a smooth coconut with some added notes to it but basically mainly it's like a coconut pulp that you put on your skin very very nice fragrance and i must say that the longevity is very decent uh, around seven hours I shall say so that's the first one and I really really crave that vacation fragrance and the thing is that um, most of my like summer uh, lotion fragrances are niche and they are very very strong so I don't particularly want to use them when I'm around the house or when I'm just running errands or meeting my mom you know it's not something that I would wear uh, just around um, the day so this is gorgeous because it's a little bit more smoother is not as potent even though you know the the projection and the sillage is very decent it's not as loud so I really really like it for that and that's Dolce Garden uh, also guys I've been really thinking about getting Lancome uh, the new Tresor Nude uh, however, I've heard reviews that it's not very long lasting and it's very mild. I know many of you have it already and you've been recommending them to me. So please let me know what you think about it because I really, really want to try it. But again, I don't want to, I don't want to spend another uh, bunch of dollars on something that will not last. You know what I mean? So for now, I'm sticking to Dolce Garden. Okay, another one which I'm so like I feel so terrible because I really trashed that fragrance in one video and I was quite disappointed with it. Uh, however, at the moment, since I really don't need something with a huge sillage, with very, very powerful, lasting power, I need something a little bit more smoother. So since I'm just around the house, around my uh, closest family and friends, you know. I'm really enjoying Alien Fusion or the Parfum. Uh, so as I said, it's definitely, definitely way, way more softer 
than the original and that's why I was a little bit meh about it because I thought they would really do a great job with that flanker being spicy, being interesting. To me it's very very mild. However, for your normal daily wear of a perfume where you don't want to be too loud with your fragrance like you know i'm going to my mom not to a party if you if you know what i mean um this one's perfect this one is really really perfect it still has a very very distinctive alien notes however they added some vanilla and some tuberose some spices ginger I should not even mention the spices because they're barely there. Um, do I smell vanilla? Not much really. To me it's just a softer toned down version of an alien, which in these circumstances that we are in at the moment is actually a perfect fragrance and I really really crave it uh, when I think of what to wear. So uh, actually that says a lot, right? Another one that I really cannot stop wearing, guys, and this is my oldie buddy goodie, but I really, really love Olympia at the moment. I don't reach for Olympia intense at all right now um, because it's too sweet, it's too cloying, uh, it's just too much for me. Uh, Olympia, the original, is just perfect. Yeah, it's, it's still strong, it's still super long-lasting, but it's not a fragrance that you cannot wear in a closer environment, to me. Even though it has a great ciliage, for some reason it really, really works well when you're around the house, when you're just running errands, it's just perfect for me. I really, really love it. You know that this is one of my favorite fragrances for years. Um, I think even since it was released, um, I've been purchasing it. I think it's my fifth or sixth bottle. So I will never get rid of it and I absolutely love it. And I just, you know, came back to it because there was a time um, that I haven't been wearing it too much. Right now I wear it again constantly. So that's Olympia. Another one that I want to show you is something super cozy, something that's very sweet but very feminine. To me, it is just a perfect spring sweater weather kind of scent. Very, very feminine. It really smells like a muffin, like a cupcake or whatever. Uh, and this is Dolce & Gabbana Pour Femme. And this is the Eau de Parfum. Uh, when it comes to the intense, I haven't smelt it unfortunately, but I know uh, it's not uh, more intense at all, it's just more like leathery, that's what most people say. So going back to the fragrance, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, like literally raspberry muffin kind of scent, but still very, very classy. Uh, it is not very potent on the ciliage, although it's still detectable. And the lasting power is amazing. It's nine hours, eight, nine hours, I shall say. So that's amazing when it comes to this perfume. It's not cloying uh, to the environment, but you can still smell it and you can smell it throughout the whole day. It really clings onto your skin. So that's Dolce & Gabbana Parfum. Okay, another one that I just cannot live without, and this is also my kind of recent discovery. Um, I showed you this one in a few videos already and I really, really gravitate towards it all the time, guys. All the time. And this is why I sell Manifesto. To me, it's an amazing day-to-day -day kind of scent. This is how I want to smell like on a daily basis, but also it's amazing when you're going out for more formal occasions. I feel like it's just an, an amazing all-rounder. If you love vanilla, you will probably love this one. This is more of a green vanilla. So basically, uh, when it comes to vanillas in this video, I'm just gonna make a little roundup. This is a salty vanilla with some aquatic. Dolce & Gabbana Parfum will be our sweet vanilla, uh, like a muffin cake vanilla. And this is more of a green vanilla. So. You get that blackberry in the beginning, but again, not for too long. Uh, 
it's mostly this gorgeous gorgeous vanilla very smooth very balsamic with a creamy grain note it's not sharp at all it's beautiful so that's manifesto the longevity is amazing again around eight hours uh with more potent ciliage than dolce and gabbana for sure it's very it's more more potent of a fragrance okay Another vanilla is a lavender vanilla. As you can see, I'm really, really into vanillas these days, maybe because uh, where I live currently, it's been raining all the time and I just need something more cozy. Another vanilla that I love, and this is also a new perfume in my collection, um, this is YSL, uh, again, uh, Libre. And uh, if I were to compare these two, this is definitely like our green vanilla and this is lavender vanilla with white florals. Uh, but the vanillas that are used in here are very, very similar. So uh, I feel like you cannot go wrong with one or the other. So if you own this one or that one, you will probably love the other one, if you know what I mean. Uh, so Libre is an amazing fragrance that to me is very, very feminine. It's not masculine to me at all. Uh, you have to be quite brave being a guy wearing it, in my opinion, even though it's potent on lavender. Also, many people ask me, how does it compare to uh, the OG Mont Guerlain. So first of all, Mont Guerlain is way softer. Uh, the longevity is uh, way, way lower than this one. Uh, however, it, you know, this is one of my favorite fragrances as well. However, the Guerlain is sweeter, is more is way more powdery, is more potent on the tonka bean and the vanillic um, note in a sweet way. So yeah, it's basically more sweeter, more powdery. This one, is not as sweet, but you still get an amazing vanilla blend and it's also uh, prominent on white floral florals for several hours. I just love this scent guys. I really really love it. I was super hesitant when it comes to buying it. I thought I would never like it. Uh, I smelled it when it was just released and I was in Johannesburg at the airport and this is where I first smelt it and then I liked it but then I got a lot of samples of it and I was testing it and it was a huge love-hate relationship. There was a period when I absolutely hated it. So guys with this one I feel like it's very important to test it very very intensely before you buy it um, even though the uh, note combination is not very exceptional you know it's just vanilla lavender and white florals and some fruits in the beginning this is a type of fragrance that will develop differently on everybody also i would highly highly recommend uh, spraying this on your clothes because it performs very very well on your clothes so that's why it's a libre Okay, another one that I really, let me just put every fragrance that I talked about in the back. So another one that I want to talk to you about is Guerlain Insolence Eau de Toilette. And I really still cannot figure this one out. If this is like my fragrance or is it not my fragrance, if you know what I mean. Does Paulina really smell like it? Because to me it's like literally a violet hot candy kind of smell. Um, it is quite classy, I must say. I think it will suit well uh, any occasion, really. Uh, it's sweet. It is violet iris. Yeah, mainly violet iris and this very uh, sugary, candy-like smell to it. But still very, very sophisticated. Actually, my boyfriend really, really likes it, surprisingly. I would never have thought he would like this one, but he does. So, you know, he really encourages me to wear it. And uh, it came to the point that I really, really crave it at the moment. Even though I still am not too sure if this is my kind of scent, I still crave it and I still wear it all the time. So, that's Gerthon en Solence. Another perfume that really lifts me up and really amps my mood up and makes me feel a little bit flirty and sexy and girly is another YSL. I feel like I'm really, really into YSL perfumes at the moment. Even though I must tell you, I'll be honest, I don't really love YSL um, as a beauty brand. I love their fashion. 
I do, but the beauty brand is really not on my alley. So I don't really love YSL uh, makeup and beauty in general uh, because to me, um, I don't know, it's just it's just not my thing because I can never match myself with their foundations I, and I also feel like it's very complicated and that's why I've been so discouraged with with the beauty brand. Nevertheless, I've been really into the fragrances recently. So this is Mont Paris and I've had it for a while. This is actually my second bottle, I think. Yeah, this is my second bottle. And this is a very prominent strawberry note. It is quite prominent on patchouli, but surprisingly, I love patchouli in here. It's, it gives this perfume like this depth and a little bit of darkness. It, it gives me a very particular mood, guys. It really, really um, just makes me travel back in time uh, to the time that I bought it in a certain period of my life. Even though it was not like the best period of my life, it was a very exciting period. And it really, really takes me back there because that's when I was wearing it the most. And yeah, this is very, very strawberry-like. There's a lot of jasmine in here, two types of jasmine actually, and that patchouli note. Very interesting fragrance, even though you might think it is a typical fruity scent. It's not really because it has that depth and a little bit of darkness to it. So it's quite like flirty. So that's Mont Paris and yeah, I really really like it. And now, um, these are gonna be the most exciting ones. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Ariana Grande Cloud. So you know how it is with Ariana Grande Cloud, right? Everybody says it's a Bacala Rouge dupe and stuff like that. It is similar. I must say it, it does have a vibe. I have a uh, Baccarat Rouge decant and I've been doing a lot of testing recently. I feel like I've done more research on Baccarat Rouge than my own PhD. So that's that. Let's put it out there and the video is coming, I promise. So uh, this one I cannot stop wearing. I absolutely love it. However, to me it's more of a smooth, uh, sweet, coconutty scent. Uh, I love that there's lavender in here. And, um, yeah, it's definitely smoother. I feel like, um, I feel like Baccarat Rouge can be a little bit sharp at times. And this is just like a nice, sweet, girly version of it. Like, if they as extracted only the sweetness of Baccarat Rouge, that would be Ariana Grande Cloud with some coconut added to it. Yeah, it is similar, but not really. So... Nevertheless, I've been grabbing it constantly, constantly, and I've been getting many, many compliments. But guys, last but not least, I have the most exciting thing to show you in this video. And this is one of the best, if not the best, Baccarat Rouge dupe on the market. And I came across it by a complete accident. I mean, there are no accidents in the world, are there? But, um... A company reached out to me and they are actually a Polish brand called FM Group, Federico Mahora, and they wanted to send me some samples of their fragrances. I've never heard of the brand, um, you know, I've never even encountered their products. Uh, but I said like, okay, because I, I saw the, the whole catalog that they sent me and I was really interested in how, how they approach the fragrances because they have they, their own like niche line, uh, which are like super, super um, expensively made fragrances with natural ingredients, but they also do produce uh, those, you know, um, fragrances inspired by niche brands and other designer brands and I got a few fragrances from them but this one just stood out to me the most I cannot stop wearing it I got it a few weeks ago and as you can see I'm almost done I already have a backup of it this is a 50 ml, ml bottle and this is Federico Mahora pure royal in number 910 so 910 and this is the Eau de Parfum. So guys, first of all, uh, I really, really like the bottle. It's very simple. Um, it looks very sophisticated on the counter. The only thing that the, the cap is plastic, but come on, YSL also has plastic cap, which I was quite upset with. 
and the price is incomparable. Uh, so yeah, going back to the fragrance, uh, I really like the bottle and the scent, guys. But I love it. I love it. This is like legit baccarat smell. It has this oceany note, if you know what I mean. It has this a little bit medicinal note. The notes in the fragrance are exactly the same as baccarat. And it's just perfect. Guys, the, also, of course, the most important thing, uh, the longevity is amazing. It's around 9 uh, hours. However, if I spray it in my hair, which I usually do, I can smell it for the next day until I wash my hair again. Uh, so on clothes and in the hair, the longevity is a beast. On the skin, it's around 8 hours. And guys, this is just amazing. I am. I was so, so, so excited to show you this and this is my first um, opinion about that it's just amazing it is a gorgeous gorgeous take on inspiration um, from Baccarat Rouge by Maison Francis Courdijon amazing 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 and I highly highly recommend checking it out I will make a full review on the brand because uh, after I was so into this fragrance I went ahead and bought a lot of fragrances myself from them and I will review them for you uh, very very soon so stay tuned for that because there are some masterpiece um, perfumes as well despite of that um, and guys if you are interested in, in purchasing it I will of course uh, link everything down below the only thing with Federico Mahora is that uh, to purchase perfumes you can get a very very decent discount on it I think it's 30% if I'm not mistaken um, uh, all you have to do is register to their site they have an amazing range of products despite of perfumes so you can just browse through it if you have any questions I will also leave the contact um, to the uh, contact person from the brand because uh, I know that with the US and Canada they are uh, since the brand is um, they're producing in Poland and they have few places in Europe where they distribute from uh, they're trying their best to um, make it the most cheap for all the people from Canada and US to purchase the fragrances so um, if you're from the US or Canada and you're interested in, in this particular fragrance or any other uh, go ahead and contact the person that I will link below it's the Instagram page and you can just DM them so yeah that's it going back to the fragrance guys as you can see I'm almost out of it I absolutely love it and yeah uh, I'll be also doing a video about the whole Baccarat Rouge uh, fragrance dupes range that I own. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. I will deeply review it then as well. So yeah, that's my 10th fragrance. I cannot live with that at the moment. And guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all doing well. Please don't forget to subscribe to see more content like this and see you guys in the next one. Bye!